Muhammad Anas, he says, my question is, what is the ruling on visiting Adarga or Adraga? I think it's called Darga. Uh, is it shirk? Because some people go there just for making dua and they think that the person who is in the grave can help them and they also seek his wasila. And when we ask them, why are you doing this? And then they say that he is a ladder towards Allah Azza wa Jal. What is a darga? If I understand it correctly, it's like a tomb of someone, people think that he's a saint. Someone who is a righteous person close to Allah Azza wa Jal. And they usually build on top of it a dome or a structure. They light candles. Sometimes they slaughter sacrifices. Others may wipe it and wipe their bodies seeking barakah on blessings. Others may go around it in uh, circles like uh, uh, doing with the Kaaba in tawaf, etc. So what's the ruling on this? It is one of two. Either a person is going there thinking that this deceased can benefit us and can protect us from harm. And we make dua to him and we ask him for things that we would like to be done. And we may sacrifice for his sake. This is all shirk. Calling him is shirk. Asking him is shirk. What do you mean by shirk? Shirk is associating others with Allah. Allah mentioned in two ayahs in the Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru ay yushraka bihi. Allah Azza wa does not forgive people that associate others with him. So this is, as they say, the cardinal sin, the most uh, uh, um, heinous sin that Allah does not forgive. So if a person goes to dargas and call the dead or ask them to benefit him or, or, or the likes, this is shirk. And he's out of the fold of Islam. Even if he prays five times a day, makes hajj, gives zakat, fast Ramadan, because he associated others with Allah, thinking that this person in his grave hears us and answers our supplication, then he is a mushrik. Likewise, there is a, a, a famous story that a person said that for 10 years, I've not been having any children and I'd like to have a child with my wife. So one told him, ask Allah. He said, I've been doing Umrah every week. Nothing happened. So then he said, okay, in this case, go to the grave of Al-Hussein. So he goes to the grave of Al-Hussein. He writes a paper and he throws it and he asks Al-Hussein for an offspring in nine months, his wife is giving birth to a child. What is this? This is a test from Allah Azza wa Jal. This man did not trust Allah Azza wa Jal. So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala prevented him from having a child when he went and associated others with Allah and he completely gone out of Islam. He was again tested with a child to test his Iman and he flunked the test. The second type are those who goes to Dargas. And they know that this dead person has nothing to do for them. They have no power. But they believe that doing dua near that grave is blessed. And Allah answers it. So they ask Allah, thinking that the dua here is barakah. And they may also touch the sand, thinking that it is barakah. Not thinking that the deceased can harm or benefit them by uh, no means. So scholars say that, they, or even go around it in rounds like uh, Tawaf in Kaaba, believing in Allah Azza wa Jal, not in the deceased. Scholars say that this is a major sin and it's considered to be minor shirk. And it is indeed means to major shirk because usually 1%, maybe one over a thousand of the people who go there do not believe in the deceased. The vast majority believe that this peer or this uh, Mawlana or this Wali, Waliullah is the one who controls the universe and has the ability to do what we want him 
to do which is shirk. So the second type is means to shirk and it's minor shirk, but it is indeed one of the major sins of Islam and Allah Azza wa knows best. We